Hey, what's up? It's Malibu Slim, and you're now watching The Real Review, home of the independent Black filmmaker. Today, we have a special guest. We're going to go into the acting side of it because we are reviewing Nuke the Bridges, episode six. And today we have uh, Jason Booth. Now, he has a very special role, a different role in, in this series that um, I'd like to hear more about. I just finished watching episode six, but I want him to talk about it. So we got to get into it right after this. <laughs> All right, hey, what's up, Jason? So how you doing? I'm good, man. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing cool, man. You know, is it uh, is it snowing? Up where you in Virginia, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm in Virginia. Yeah, it, is it uh, snowing out there or what? Well, it's no, it snowed yesterday. It snowed pretty bad this past weekend, but now today is just cold as hell. Oh yeah, okay. Oh wow, you know, I've been I've been in the house. It, it, it's been kind of cold, but you know, Cali is nothing good. cold. Is like a joke compared yeah. to probably there. You know, I had that cold. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like, uh, nuke the bridges. You're on episode six. Are you on any of the other episodes or? Um, I am. I'm. Uh, I'm in upcoming episodes as well. Um, my role will get a little, a little larger as as the episodes uh, go on. So I'm looking forward to that. Right. Okay. All right. So I want to get into it. Like you, um, I, I I saw episode six and I saw you there. I kind of saw what you were. You know, kind of saw your role. I think I saw you in. Were you in episode five too as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you in episode five. So just to uh, give, you know, break down, like, what's your role in the in the series? Like, you know, who are you and, you know, what's your, do you have, your character have a name? Uh, yeah, it's actually uh, Jay. Oh, okay. Jay. So what's your role? What's what's Jake's role? Jay, Jay, um, he's, he's the, the counterpart to Candy. He's, he's Candy's husband, um, but also he's like, the muscle he's 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 like the guy that's uh that's ready at any time to just get down get dirty however however you want it so you know oh okay all right all right so have you done have you done any other roles or is this your first role or have you done some other different roles in acting uh, this is actually my very first role man i get to pop my cherry on this right here so you know. oh okay that's cool so how, so how do you like it I love it, man. I love it. It's a different experience for me um, doing doing this because, you know, I get to uh, show a little bit of talent that I didn't know I had. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So. So like uh, like what kind of stuff do you do you want to do or do you, you want to expand or you want to be like the bad guy? The muscle is that your character and all the, ro you know, the future stuff or like what kind of ideas you have for future roles? Um. I like I like this character. This character is uh, it's 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 a nice character, man. You know, I I enjoy uh being the bad guy, being the muscle. I, I enjoy that. Um, I wouldn't mind being a villain in the in uh in in, in any role that I want that I play in the future. Like a <laughs> villain, a villain is like you know uh, it's kind of etchy. You know, you got to get deep into that role. I wouldn't mind doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, there there have been some good villains in different movies. Like, you just want to see that all the time. So, that, yeah, I see what you mean. That's cool. Um, what is your, what was your, like, what was your, you know, it's always like a little something, I guess. I don't know. But, like, what was your challenge or what was, like, the most difficult part of just the whole thing? Like, it could be, like, the actual filming or just getting ready or anything to do with it. Like, what was the most difficult part of all this to you? Um, I'm gonna be honest, man, you know, uh, to start off being that this is my first time, you know, in front of camera acting, uh, it's just the in the beginning, it was very difficult for me, but after a while, you know, it was, it was, it became real easy only because, you know, I used to be, uh, my, my, ink, my, um, major in college was, uh, English literature. So I, I love speaking in front of crowds and everything. So, oh, okay. It, it kind of, it kind of, I rolled myself right into it and it became easy after a while. 
Oh, okay. So, so in the beginning, were you kind of nervous or? Yes, man. Yeah, I was, I was, I was nervous in the beginning. I was forgetting my lines. Yeah, forget, and, I was going to ask you, forgetting your <laughs> line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, I was forgetting my lines, man. And I was just like, damn, shit, man. God. But, <laughs> Wow, man, you know, it became easy and I just started rolling into it, man. And and it's a great experience, man. I, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool, you know, because it's always really important to do something you love. You know, like for a while, like I, I guess, I, you know, I'm 51, you know, that in the earlier part of my life, I was doing a lot of stuff just like, OK, let me do this because this makes money. I'm going to try to make some money or whatever. And it just it would never work out for me. I mean, you know, it, it might have even worked out money wise, but it just didn't work out for me, you know. And now, you know, now I'm, I do things the way I want to do them, even if it's like the money's not right there right at the start, long as I can, long as I can kind of just do what I want and move forward, then it, it always seems to work out. It Absolutely. always seems to work out. Definitely, man. You know, do do what you feel, man. You know, whatever, whatever's your passion, man, that's 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 important. You know, whatever makes you happy. Yeah, exactly. You know, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into a commercial break and then we'll be right back after this. Hey, what's up? It's Malibu Slam, and this is The Real Review, home of the independent black filmmaker. At The Real Review, we always dive into what it takes to make a quality, low-budget film. That means getting the best from your actors and crew, making the most out of your time, and the best production equipment that you can buy with a limited budget. Check me out on YouTube, Malibu Slam, or ebny.tv and anywhere where there's podcasts if you're an independent black filmmaker and you're trying to get your movies and trying to get your films displayed to the world contact me at the real review here and we'll get your stuff out there i'll see you soon Okay, cool. All right. So, hey, look, I, what I want to do is uh, I want to show a little clip of a couple of little couple of, mo you know, a couple of moments you had in the show. I want to show a clip from episode six. So uh, just just give a recap real quick and I'm going to go ahead and show the clip. Oh, man, I got to remember what, 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 which one it was. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, the, the one part where y'all were all sitting around together. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we was uh, we was trying to plot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. So here's a clip from Nukes of Bridges, episode six. Good, how about you? Good. good. Everything okay? What's wrong? I've got better opportunities coming up. I absolutely do, so it's, it's for the best. Girl, what's so urgent? <laughs> Motherfucking Maurice Bridges. You'll never know where it's coming from until one day you're shooting and boom, it's done. And uh, that nigga gonna pay by any means necessary. At the end of the day, I'm here for more support. I love you, babe. I love you too, baby. Y'all both know me already. I brought my husband Q with me. Bridges is a disrespectful motherfucker. And uh, he need us to teach him how not to be a disrespectful motherfucker. All right, cool, man. That, yeah, that was cool, you know. Uh, let's see where we at. Okay, yeah. So, um, what I want to do now is I have a little, I have a little game show that I get into. Um, you know, just uh, mix it up a little bit. So, right now, it's time for the lightning round. Yes, it's the lightning round. The lightning round consists of seven questions. 30 seconds of total to answer, and no more than three seconds per question. Now, if you have all the rules, let's play the lightning round. Back to you, Muslim. All right, all right. Jason Booth, so are you ready? Ready. All right. GoPro or DSLR? Ooh, GoPro. All right. Full length movie or movie short? Uh, short. Sure. Fried chicken or baked chicken? <laughs> no, not, not fried. I mean, a baked, baked. <laughs> oh, but you want the fry? Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, Volvo or Ferrari? I'm a labor whore, man. I get a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on that. 
uh, red pill or blue pill? Red. Red all day, hey, that's the only way to go. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, have you ever, have you ever in your life called a woman a bitch? Yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask who. <laughs> all right. Okay, now you gotta choose, all right? It's the last question. Oprah or Gail? Oprah. Ooh. Oprah. Ooh. What? Okay, all right. I'm gonna ask why. That wallet, man, you know. Oh, but you know, I mean, come on, man. I just saw a girl got a, she got a fat ass, though, man. What's up with that? Oprah, Oprah, a billionaire, man. <laughs> <laughs> she, she ain't trying to give up no money to nobody. Oprah, stingy as hell. That because stabbing is cool as hell, man. You know, I, I need a sugar pump on that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, that's cool, all right. All right, so we're going to wrap it up there. That's it for the lightning round. Yeah. And that concludes the lightning round. And, all right. Okay, cool, Jason. All right, man, you get a good support. So, Jason, tell me, where can, uh, do you have an Instagram? Yes, I do. Okay, where can everybody find you? Uh, at that at that dude D A D A T at that dude seven five seven. All right, all right, cool. All right, well, hey, uh, that's it, everybody, for this episode of the Real Review. We're speaking to Jason Booth, the Muscle, in episode six and other episodes of Nuke the Bridges, written by Jamal Johnson. And uh, you know, I just want to say to everybody, you know, you could always hit the Cash App, the Zell or the PayPal, you know, you see it going below the screen, you know, and remember if you're on Facebook or anywhere else to like and share and, you know, just generally support. But other than that, I want everybody to always, always, always remember, always stay on the grind because time waits for no one. And remember, keep on working on that master plan. Smell the slam. Peace. <laughs> Man, that shit's not gonna fall back on us. Like, any word on who might have started that shit? Not yet. But the body's under the concrete. Damn, don't look that bad. They'd have to tear the whole building down just to find it. Alright, I'm gonna keep my main line down for about another week. So if y'all need me, just hit me on the other junk. Bet. Don't sweat the fire thing, man. We good. I mean, it's bad that them kids died, man, but uh, that ain't on us.